I'm a carnivore. I just want to see the meat. What's up, beautiful people? Losing Drea here, and today I'm coming to you guys with Meat Only March video number 10. Wow. 10 days. Just meat. Pretty much. You know, I say pretty much because I have been eating a few things that are not exactly considered to be just meat, um, as far as a carnivore is concerned. I have had some sour cream. I did that a couple nights ago. I did have a bang or two. Didn't finish them. Found I really don't even want them now that they're in there, the ones that I bought. And I also have had, uh, well, heavy whipping cream in my coffee, but last time I had heavy whipping cream with sugar-free Jello, I made a nice little whatever you want to call that kind of whip thing, and I had some of that. Outside of that, I've been also drinking coffee. Obviously, coffee is a plant. You strain the plant through the liquid that you drink. You are ingesting oxytoxins from the plant. So, am I completely plant free? No, I also have condiments that I've also put on some of, like last night's steak, I had like some garlic powder or garlic and herb. So like those things are derived from plants. So if you are eating any of that stuff and you're still having adverse reactions and or problems with sinus issues and like allergy type issues going on, you really need to look at the ingredients of what it is that you're eating and omit those ingredients. I've basically omitted everything out of what I've allowed myself to eat um, long ago. This is nothing new for me. But the fact that I'm restricting myself right now to just a couple of things, like eggs and meat, you know, and I'm trying not to eat the cheese, and I'm trying not to, like, overdo it on the heavy whipping cream, so I'm not doing three, four, or five cups of coffee. I'm doing one, maybe two cups of coffee. And um, I'm drinking a little bit more water here and there, but I'm feeling parched all the time because I'm constantly, I have this cough and whatnot, and I think I mentioned it before, don't nobody call the CDC on me because I do not need to be anything but self-quarantined. <laughs> I cannot afford to be taken out of my house and quarantined anywhere. So, <clears throat> But I think I'll be fine, other than I did hear recently of the passing of somebody who was 27 who had the coronavirus. So this COVID-19 stuff is really... Whew. And, you know, I went to the store yesterday and I could see some people with their kids had masks on. And I'm seeing more and more people now wearing masks as well as a shortage of masks on the shelves. To the point where I just heard that somebody literally had some of these like five in a pack, hot pink or whatever face masks they sold for $198, I think, or $129. I don't know. There was a bunch of stuff being shown to me. Face masks, guys. You're going to be gouging, price gouging for face masks in a desperate need of I don't want to die time in our lives. Hmm. I don't think I want to be going to any thrift stores. And I don't think I even want to go to a regular store. But there are people that, you know, they're not going to want to cover their mouths. They're going to think that they're completely healthy and fine. And then they're going to go out into public and they're going to sneeze or something. And there you go. The germ is loose. So... Um, you breathe it in, you come up behind them, you touch a wagon that they've touched, or a, I don't know, a product on a shelf. You never know, guys. I mean, they say wash your hands. It's only a precaution to try to kind of cover up the fact that you're going to get sick. Just don't breathe. Just don't breathe. Anyway, speaking of not breathing, I'm a little angel here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Look, she, she never wants to... She hates being held. Say hi. Look that way. No, just for a second. It ain't working. It won't happen. <laughs> Anyways, I tried. So I almost didn't do this video. It's actually the 11th day. And so you're getting this on the 11th day. And then yesterday on today. And then you'll get today on tomorrow. Unless, of course, I can somehow or another do it quick enough to get it to you in the same day. But it's just how my internet has been working for me and like the speed of things I have no other way I can do this so I have to kind of take what I can get hope for the best and um, start the upload and hope that it gets to you guys on time it either does or it doesn't and most times lately at least the last 10 days it has not been but it wasn't my intentions 
I'm still intending on getting things to you in a timely manner so that you can keep up with me on the same page that I'm on as I'm on it, or somewhat close enough to it. So, okay, I need to catch up on a lot of people's videos here, okay? I have not been able to watch everybody's videos. There's so many keto, keto, keto people. I thought of changing my name and putting like uh, Keto Drea or Drea Keto or uh, Carnivore Drea as I'm going by now. If you see the uh, thumbnails of my videos, I have like the little hashtag Carnivore Drea. Like, I'm a carnivore. I just want to see the meat. I want to see the, the, the pinkness on the inside, the juiciness of it. I want to see that that steak is a good steak that was cooked the very best it could be if could have been cooked. Um, when I cook, because I only eat one or two meals a day, I try to savor whatever food I get, and I try to make it the very, very best I could possibly make it. And for me, that means buying it fresh just before I need it for the most part, and then also cooking it and paying the utmost attention that I can give that meat while I'm cooking it from the part of taking it out of its package, putting it on the tray I'm going to cook it on, you know, on the pan, putting it in the oven under the broiler or air fryer, wherever I'm going to cook that thing, if I'm going to sear it, whatever way, I watch that steak. I don't turn my back on that steak for anything. And really for me, it's five minutes on each side for a nice inch or more thick sirloin. And it, that's all I like, okay? And people say, how do you want your meat? So on the plate still mooing. But typically, even five minutes on each side, i got to tell you guys, that's not raw. That is a nice, uh, warm red center, if that makes any sense. I love it. I love my meat like that. It has to be very juicy and, and almost basically bloody rare. I do not want to eat it otherwise. And roast beef, big connoisseur of roast beef, but I'm more the fan of the uh, public supermarket that we have here. They have their own that they make and slice up, either bottom or top round. I'll take either or, but I prefer the one that's bloodier. And I believe that's more of the bottom round than it is the top round. But, um, so I save a couple cents there if I was to get it, but I buy that as a treat for myself because I'm, it's too easy for me to just go in and take it because one, I'm eating it cold so it doesn't have to be heated up and two, it's already sliced for me from the deli. So that's something that I can actually go through a whole pound of roast beef by myself in a single sitting. Granted, think about it as a steak that was sliced in the same manner, you know, you get about the same thing, pay about the same price. But again, one is cold and quick grabbing and eating as I like it. Steak has to be cooked, has to be prepared, and I like to sit down and enjoy my steak while it's warm. But in these parts, you know, I got my own little petting zoo and my kids like to sit there and drool all over my foot and wait for me, thinking I'm going to give them something. And I'm just not, sometimes not wanting to part with it, but I have to because I never say no to them. I don't. They're spoiled. Anyways, guys, I've been rambling on long enough. I just wanted to come on here yet again, get this other video out of the way. Day number 10, almost behind most of you guys. For me, I have to say I'll be up till probably 6, 7 o'clock, maybe even 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. I was up until 9 o'clock yesterday morning because now it's after midnight and I'm doing this video from yesterday. I don't want to confuse y'all. I'm confused enough as it is myself, but yeah. All of this stuff, never said the weight. Today I was actually down uh, six ounces from yesterday's weight. I was 231.4, but I was 230 on Sunday, so I'm actually eight ounces up more than I was. So we'll, we'll, we'll get those eight ounces down. Hopefully today I just ate three eggs. I made them in my little... Um, What's that little personal waffle iron that Denny, Demi, whatever that they're selling on Amazon all over the place? Be lucky if you can get one now at only $9.99. If you want one and can't find the link to that particular one, I believe it's a red one and they have blue if they have them in stock, of course. Uh, but they're $9.99. Otherwise, they're $14.99 everywhere else. Uh, or even more. I saw people price gouging because all products, I don't care what they are or where they are. I'm here to tell you they're all drop shipped from somewhere and somebody like myself or yourself is just a middleman sitting behind a computer just typing away listing stuff on places where it is you actually find this stuff and then buy it and everybody gets a profit. And I believe more brick and mortar stores are going to be closing down um, and opening up online stores because they're going to be able to cut down on all that overhead that they have and 
opening up all these stores and, and, and lining the pockets of contractors and building developers and then the city and the county and all that kind of good stuff and things that people like us consumers don't see in the background that brings these places to our door. Um, it's not going to matter what the census is and how many people are in your community. You can just, wherever you can get an internet connection or a dial up or whatever and get on the internet, you'll be able to shop your favorite stores, even the ones you don't think are online. I don't think there's any store out there that probably is not already hooked up online and already set up and already been in business selling to people online. And it's amazing. It's an, it, it's an amazing time and a blessing to be able to live in this time in our lives where we have these capabilities. But then I do come from a time when we didn't have these capabilities and I kind of remember it and I don't think it was too bad back then either. I think, you know, but was, was I more active or, you know, any less chunkier because I got out more rather than doing things behind the screen? No, actually I wasn't. Oh, I went down that rabbit hole, but hopefully you guys, since I took y'all with me, get a little something, something out of going down the rabbit hole and you come out with it on top. Let me know if you did in the comments down below. You know, I need some more interaction and participation from you guys, my watchers, not just my subscribers, because there's, I think, a few more watchers than I have subscribers. Well, I have a lot of subscribers and not that many watchers, but I don't know. I'm sure there's a few of you out there that are watching that aren't subscribed. For whatever reason, you don't want it to show up in your own pages or something. I don't know. Everybody has a reason for why they do what they do. I don't complain about nothing. Everybody has a right to do what they want to do. I love you if you stopped by here, though, and you found my video. Anyways, guys, I'm just going to shut up because I'm rambling. I'm bored. I'm so bored. I'm actually working right now, but I am bored. <laughs> I'm going to get to editing this video, uploading it, doing it, all the things that i got to do to get it up to you guys. But with that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you, be the boss of your loss. If you're on a weight loss journey, and I will definitely be seeing each and every one of you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow, day 11, for me only. March. Be blessed. Mwah. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below and be sure to ring the bell so you can be notified of all new videos as I put them out to you, as well as if I go live.